Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I'd like to welcome all of you back for another video. Anyways, I hope all of you have been doing well. Um, we, we've been doing quite well here lately. Um, I believe I might have spoke on the Psycho Shave um, video about somebody breaking into our laundry room and taking um, our clothing and a basket we had. Anyways, through because of the kindness of friends and even some total strangers, um, everything that we that got stolen plus a little bit extra has been replaced anyways so uh i have a shout out i'd like to welcome a new viewer his name is abe froman um when my girlfriend when i told her his name she laughed and she went the sausage king of chicago um in case those of you who are too young to get that, that is a Ferris Bueller's Day Off reference. Um, so we both got a chuckle out of that. Anyways, Abe, um, welcome. Welcome very much to the channel. Anyhow, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we're going to be using. Um... The razor I've used once before, and it's just such a great shaver. I just want it uh, shade that's just pretty much not a lot of thought to it, and just an easy shave. So tonight's razor is going to be the 1940s Gillette Aristocrat. In case you're unfamiliar with this razor, it is a twist open. It's got some nice weight to it. Um, it's a wonderful shaver, absolutely beautiful razor. The soap is one which came in with a bunch of other soaps from, and you know who you are, um, this one right here. This is, uh, I hope I don't butcher the name, it is by a fella, I believe his name is Al, Al, uh, Gomez Alvarez, or Alvarez, uh, yeah, Gomez Alvarez. And it is called Harboni La Colonia. And it says, I believe it says something about Madrid, Spain. Got a nice scent. As you can see, what I did, because it's a very hard little puck, I just went ahead and I shaved some off of the side. And um, into, my, into my Old Castle Forbes uh, shaving cream tub. And I'm just going to lather that way. The brush, once I find it, it's going to be this one. The Razor Rock 400 Synthetic. Um, I really, really like this brush. Um, the knot, it's not quite as soft as the Plasoft knots. But it's, or the, the Maggart's knot. But, I mean, it's just got some really great backbone in it. And it feels pretty good on the face. So, the blade and the razor is an Astra SP, in case you're not familiar with the Astra blades, that is in the green pack, which the SP stands for Superior Platinum. The blue packs are the SS, or Superior Stainless. So, let's go ahead and let's wet this here brush and get, it, get the shade going. Get a little wetter. Anyhow, so here we go. And in here is also a little bit of Razor Rock Empire.
from my last shave. So, mm, yeah, not a bad mix. Got a good scent. The Empire, I noticed when I used it last time, and it's not a bad thing either, um, but it has a little bit of a side odor of some kind, and like I said, not in a bad way. Um, it's just, it's just different, so. Oh yeah, that's a good load right there. Gonna go ahead, wipe the face. There we go. Um, for 406 shaver, um, he's expecting a little one. Uh, I believe he said by Tuesday. Uh, I think he said his wife was getting induced. Um, and he figured he would probably be very busy um, for the first, I don't know, month or so. And oops, hang right on. Oops, dang it. And, uh, you know, I told him, I said, you know, I him, I said, oh yeah, you're going to be a busy man. Basically, and, well, maybe not in those words, but, you know, I told him, I said, yeah, as the father of a three-year-old, you're going to be, the first few months is very, very busy. Um, you know, it was for me and my girlfriend. Um, um, we uh, we busted our butts. Uh, let's just say. Um, but if you are watching World Six, get yourself a cradle for you and your wife. And. Put it there by one of your guys' sides. Um, if your wife is going to breastfeed, keep it on her side. You know, if you guys are going to bottle feed and you're the lighter sleeper, then, you know, you guys can figure that out. On which side because we had our son in a cradle and my girlfriend was unfortunately unable to breastfeed. She really wanted to, she really did and it kind of broke her heart that she couldn't but you know she got past it but uh you know she uh you know guys had some stuff on my hand but uh, we had uh, picked up a little wood cradle and put it there on her side. Because my side, my guide dog Herbie sleeps on. So, you know, kind of. You keep our baby, you know, you keep the two legged baby on your side and I'll keep the four legged baby on my side, that thing. And, Yeah, got a little bit of soap in my nose. But, uh... We, uh... We was quite busy that first couple of months. So... Yeah, I figured, too, there's four things I want to do in 2018, as far as my hobby goes, as far as this, this hobby goes. Um... Get some heat in this way. There's four things I want to do. Oh yeah. 
and they all, all four things surround hardware. Um, or I should say, revolve around hardware. Two things are with razors and the other two are with brushes. Um, as far as brushes go, I, uh, I mean, I've got some decent brushes. Um, I really do. I've got some pretty decent brushes. Um, however, What I don't have are any true custom or premium brushes. So what I think I'm going to do is I want to save up well as far as custom brushes by the way this is with the grain. <laughs> um, But I came up with an ideal for a just lance brush. And it's a little macabre, not like you now. Um, not like evil macabre or anything like that. But um, I want to contact Aaron Fugerit over there at Brugal Shave to make me a brush handle and, um, and put in it one of those 26 millimeter blood knots. And as far as premium brushes go, I want to save up and get the Savo Row 3824. I've wanted that brush ever since I saw Anthony Esposito using it. And, uh, I really, really, really want that brush. Um, Nick Shaves was doing a giveaway recently um, where he uh, was giving away 3824 because he just wanted to has some gear on from his den, which is an awesome thing. Um, he Get that way, and I want to get one of those. I entered a course, I didn't win, um, but you know, it's no big person. The gentleman that won it, um, I guess, has been a long time subscriber of Nick's, and uh, you know. Somebody was about to win. So, but that is the premium brush I want to start my premium brushes collection. Um, 
got a little bit of soap running down the handle here. There we go. And then as far as razors go, like I said in a prior video about this here aristocrat, that I looked across the grain at the cost that razor employed for a what they call their mirror finish. Aristocrat, and it's like 140 bucks. Well, I was willing to say that up. Well, I now have an aristocrat, so. save up and get this sent in and replay it in a rodeo. Um, so This aristocrat has seen better days, that's for sure, but I mean, it still shaves absolutely beautifully. So, I mean, down the road, I don't know. I'll do a top five um, video of razors and whether that aristocrat is replayed it or not, more than likely it will be part of that list. Because, like I said, it's just it's a great shaver. I really like it. It's got a great weight. Um, I just, I just wanted one for quite a while, so um, it would definitely, more than likely, be one of my top five or seven. So I had a. Another video that I had filmed, which I was using that British new, and uh, no. And that was from, oh, about a week ago. And then Abe, and then Abe went ahead and subscribed to my channel. So I thought, no, you know, I gotta get, I get the new subscriber a shout out. Um, Cause that's just what I do. That is if, um, you know, there's a couple guys, Nev M. Um, and Chris Morley, Kenneth Segrain, who, uh, they just communicated with me, and, uh, I asked them, I'm like, you know, they made comments on my, video, of, um, you know, 
a video and I was like, hey, are you a new subscriber? And they're like, yeah, I'm a new subscriber. I was like, awesome, I'm going to give you a shout out, so. Because not every new subscriber, you know, sometimes because of, I forget the exact reason, but um, I don't always get notified of them. So, since I don't get notified of them, you know, or I should say if I don't get notified of them, I can't give them a shout out. So, I was like, hey, So if you're a subscriber, and I've never ever given you a shout out, then let me know. So I can, because I mean, I just, I just, you know, I should say, I'll keep doing it as long as I can. Now, if I start getting, you know, 50, 60, subscriber in a week or subscribers in a week then obviously I'm not going to be able to give them shout outs or if I get notified with that many names But I imagine that's going to be a while before I get up to that level, if I ever do. So, This, well, this of Colonia, so, um, I don't know completely how good the residual slickness is, because, like I said, I used Red Rock Emperor and uh, it's kind of good in there. So I'll shape with it next time I do. I'll I'll just use it. But between the Razor Rock and it, um, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm getting really good residual slickness going on. So, I'm happy with that. Oh, a little bit of buffing right there. I saw Mel over there on Warhawk's World ended up working on a trade 
for a, what do you call it, a Wolfman OC. Um, very cool, very nice. Um, told my girlfriend I would love to get a Wolfman, but unless I get damn, 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 damn lucky, I'm probably never going to get one. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's the, or, so let's see, oh, got a little bit right there. So let's go ahead and put a little bit right there. So let's. That's good. You know, a little bit of irritation trying to creep up on me right there. So, anyways, um, so I'm gonna rinse off and I'll be back uh, for the alum. Anyways, so we're back here for the alum, 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 whatever you want to call it. Good old omega alum stick, alum stick. Not bad. Yeah, I'm thinking my next shave. I'm thinking I'm going to do the head to head between the Fat Handle Tech and that Psycho Tech and just see. Well, first I'm going to have to go ahead and work this as well. I, don't have to work the astral blade to nothing, but I mean, normally astral blades are really mild, really smooth blades um, for me, and so I figured ha, I'm going to stick an Astra, you know, instead, you know, in that Psychotech and, and shape with it. Um, it still felt. Mm, Plenty aggressive, so I think I'm gonna go ahead. And I think I'm gonna run with Darby extras. Um, those are about the most. I think those are pretty much the most mild blades I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and run, run them head to head with that. Anyways, so that's a shave. I'll see y'all in a minute for the post shave after I go ahead and rinse off and shave my shave my dome. Anyways, see y'all in a minute. Hey folks, that was another great shave. My head, nice, feels nice, smooth, um, no irritation on the dome. The face, BBS, for the most part, you get a little bit of irritation down here, but you know, it's just. Right here is a little bit of irritation, but of course, if I used a cartridge razor or a disposable, I'd have irritation all over my neck. I mean, my neck, I used to get really, really, really bad irritation when I used carts and, and disposables. But, um, so right there, ain't too bad, a little bit. I got that stuff my dermatologist gave me. Um, stings a little bit, but you know, some of the aftershaves I've used is, is definitely stings more. So, still working on the old Dollar General Witch Hazel. Yeah, if you're new to this and you don't use Witch Hazel. Considering how long a bottle will last you, it's well worth the cost. Um, I only pay a couple of bucks because I get the cheap ass Dollar General brand. But, you know, it works well. Uh, I'm looking forward to that bottle of Dickens aftershave that um, I received. From Dennis, I'm really, really looking 
forward to that. But first I'm going to get through that cheap stuff. Um, usually I put the aftershave on second. I'm going to go back and put me on first. Um, the aftershave, Ice Blue Aqua Velva. I don't know what it is about this stuff. Just, you know, kind of takes me back. Years gone by. You know, I'm, I'm not going to say much on it other than this. Um, there was something that came out. On one of the Facebook pages, a list. Um, which in some cases sounded a little bit like the person had a little bit of an axe to grind with some people. Um, one person that he kind of went, railed on was um, Douglas from PAA. Um, I'm not going to go on much about this because I think pretty much anything and everything that could be said has been said about it, but I will say this. The guy had an issue with the number of, of, of products that Douglas has and, you know, when was, when was Variety a bad thing? But anyways, so that's all I'll say. But anyways, the um, reason I said that is because that's the one thing I love about this hobby is the absolute variety that you can, that you have. I mean, soaps, aftershaves, colognes, uh, blades, uh, razors, brushes, I mean, um, <laughs> you know, brushes, you get horse hair, boar hair, badger hair, synthetic, um, mixed hair brushes, you know, boar and, horse and boar, badger and boar, horse and boar. So, you know, uh, single edge, straight edge, um, double edge, I mean, just a lot of variety. And that's just one thing I absolutely love about this hobby is the variety. So anyways, yeah, that's the shave. Um, the razor was... 1940s Gillette Aristocrat Twist Open Double Edge Razor. The blade is an Astra Superior Platinum on its second shave. Um, the brush, Razor Rock 400 Synthetic. The soap was um, a little bit of Razor Rock Empire and um, La Colonia by, I can't remember his name, I said it in the beginning of the video, so if you didn't, so if you didn't catch it, I'm sorry. Um, the after, the post shave was Warm Water Fault by Cold, um, Dollar General Witch Hazel, uh, Ice Blue Aqua Velva, followed by Nivea Aftershave Bomb. Um, that's the shave. Um, I absolutely enjoyed it. It was great. Um, nothing wrong with it. Anyways, I hope you all have a good night. And I will see all of you on the flip side of the blade. And before I go, real quick, um, once again, welcome Abe. Um, likes, comments, always welcome. Um, if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you ever need to reach me via email, just lance59 at gmail.com. That's all lowercase, no spaces. And um, 
Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye now.